and mm-hmm. on, to be able to communicate with other players and other designers about that. Yeah, I was. Um, that reminds me, uh, real quick. There was uh, a former colleague of yours who who now works, I think, or a couple of years ago, works on Elder Scrolls Online. And please forgive me, I've forgotten his name. I think it might be Alan. Uh, a few years back, he he submitted uh, a short story to Gama Sutra about some of the important lessons he learned about game design uh, from working with you, which I thought was a very kind thing to do. And one thing he noted there was that um, in his time working with you on Morrowind and Oblivion, he noted that you stayed very up on what other games were out. You played a lot of games, and then you would come into work and talk about them and use them um, as sort of a common uh, language to talk about design problems. And I thought that was like really remarkable. I know it can be very difficult for game designers who spend 12-hour days working on their own game to go home and play something new. Um, so I uh, if- it, It's true. Uh- I think also another way to look at it for is to, if you can't do that personally, make sure you know which guy on your development team or part of your fandom is the guy who does that kind of game playing and can serve as an informant for you. So partly be your own informant, but assume that there is somebody who is more obsessive and more completist than you are and therefore knows everything about games so that you can steal ideas from him. That sounds like great advice. Steal ideas from the best. Here we go. Um, all right, I should probably take us out here in a minute. I'm oh, going to 